This week, we want to continue with our sports collages. In this video, we want to review how to use the crop tool on a zoomed image. Step number one is to go ahead and get these images copied from the student Drive B over to your thought space. So once you get over to Drive B, you'll find the images folder, soccer, and we want to get the Butte Valley game. We've got about 73, 73 images there. Lizbeth did a nice job getting these images. And then open up uh, some of these in Photoshop that you choose to use. We'll go into Photoshop following your copying of these images. Go ahead and bring up one of the images. I'll start with this one right here. Now, in addition to all the other things that we've done with the images, you can certainly do that. In this video, we just simply want to use the zoom tool, shortcut letter Z, or click on the magnifying glass, and bring that image in. I'm clicking the mouse, and then you can also move it into position with the wheel. I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to click back just a little bit using the wheel, so I can go just a little bit at a time, try to really zoom in on how I want that image. That's what I want right there. Now we can grab that by using that crop tool. Thank Tristan for that suggestion. And we'll go ahead and make this as much of a rectangle as we can. Nice landscaped image. Click the check mark. And then we're going to do a save as. And we're going to save it as a JPEG. What you can do is add to that. You can keep that original name, but then you can also add to it so it makes it a little easier to identify while you're working with it. We call that Johnny fighting for the ball. Now once you've done some other things to it, you might be saving those as a Photoshop document, putting some filters. Perhaps right here you might want to do a little bit of dodging, brighten his face up a little bit. All those things we've been doing for the last seven weeks you could apply to these images before you put them into your collage. But once you do do that, make sure you save it as a JPEG so we have that version of it. And that would be the version you'd want to put into the collage, JPEG image. Photoshop images allows you to keep making changes to it, adding and deleting layers. Let's do one more. Here you might want to make this a portrait image. Zoom in. crop, save enough so that you can do some nice erasing when you're doing your collages. Don't want to make it so tight that something like that. You want to avoid that. It's just a little too much. You always definitely don't want that. You need a little bit of headroom. You've got to have space when you're making those collages, doing your erasing and blending the layers together. So always leave some space even need a little bit more over here. And there we go. And then of course save it. And then you go to work using these in a nice soccer collage. 